Hello everyone, welcome to the Hard Ram. I'm Travis Bruce and today I'm doing a movie review. I've had the privilege of receiving the screener to the new horror flick, which is called Air Fryer Slaughter. All right, let's jump in. So listen, it's pretty much <laughs> what the title says. It's a fucking wisecracking air fryer who is, goes from house to house slaughtering people. All right, let's go ahead and shoot into the pros. All right, so so the pros for me, I'm listen. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know. I'm a little biased because I'm a huge trauma fan. So, uh, this is probably gonna be a bias because I like trauma. And this, if you're a trauma fan, if you like trauma inspired movies, you're going to absolutely love this movie. It has everything you want in a trauma movie from over the top characters, great practical effects, just ridiculous scenarios and you got this wise cracking fucking excellent horror villain in the air fryer dicks titties i mean what else do you need i mean there's some gory fucked up shit in this movie this is definitely fun other things that i like about this movie is the practical effects like i brought were absolutely amazing everything from um a man's penis getting chewed off to you know face getting burnt it, it definitely adds to the movie as well as that trauma feel. Next one I want to show, the, the, the air fire, he's an amazing character. I mean, he's cracking some funny jokes before every kill. I like my horror villains with a sense of humor. I love it. I absolutely love it. That's why Freddy Krueger is my favorite horror character by far. And air fire, he's a great one. I mean, voiced by my buddy Matt Skinner. Yes, he is. On, on, throughout his slaughter in this movie, he is definitely cracking jokes, and this is definitely a horror comedy. And finally, the final one is, I appreciate the shout-out in the credits from you guys. That always makes me feel special. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and shoot to the negatives. The biggest negative about this movie is, if you're not a trauma fan, you're going to absolutely probably hate this movie. Um, I, um, so, like, when it comes to horror fans, there are people who absolutely love trauma, and there's people who hate trauma movies. There's nothing in between. So, if you hate trauma movies, if you, you're going to despise the movie, you're going to think this movie's disgusting, you're going to think it's stupid, you're going to play, but this is not funny. So, if you're not a trauma uh, fan, I would definitely say stay away from this movie. This is not, not something for you. Um, it's that grainy, cheap, B movie look like someone shot it with a you know their mom's VHS camcorder and it has that that underground porn uh, movie uh, uh, sound uh, um, sound quality and fucking lighting yeah listen if, if that's enough if you don't respect trauma movies for what they are I mean, they're art from themselves this is definitely not going to be a movie for you but this is a movie for me and I absolutely enjoy this movie so that's why I'm going to give Air Fire Slaughter, a four out of five. Definitely check it out. All right, everyone. If you like this review, please hit that like and that subscribe button. Please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot, guys. All right. And also, check out Air Fire Slaughter when it comes out. I don't know if it's when it's coming out, but definitely check it out. Thank you for coming to the Horror Room. And this is another movie review. We'll see you next time. Take care.